Hey, so in this video, I'm gonna be telling you how exactly you should be contacting a wholesale supplier to set up a partnership. Now, before we go into the details, something that I wanted to mention before you do any of this stuff, before you start reaching out, it's really important that you set up an LTD, set up a company for yourself, okay? Now, this is one of the things I'd advise to do at the start of you know setting up the entire wholesale route of your Amazon business have an LTD in place, set up a company. You don't have to, but it will help you out massively. It's honestly a game changer and it helps you um, come across as legitimate because of course you will be and it just adds to that professionalism. So I'd strongly advise setting up an LTD as soon as you can. Okay, that's one of the ground elements of getting into the wholesale route. So do that. Definitely do that. Right, when you look on a wholesaler site, there will be phone numbers, there'll be emails, there might be contact forms. Now, always read into any specifications on the website. So here, it looks like they would actually prefer for you to fill in a contact form to send an email. They'd rather you do that than over the phone. It looks like any urgent inquiries. So I wanted to use this example to show you that not um, that phone calls aren't always the preference though if they don't specify anything like this and you have the choice between email or phone I would always say go with the phone approach because it will a help you come across as more professional like because you have that confidence to call them up they can ask you questions on the phone you can even ask them questions on the phone you can present everything with your tone and mannerisms you help get across that professionalism right and you can get so much more done on that phone call than back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with emails. And of course, with emails as well, you have to be quite on it because you need to appear interested. Um, and of course, it's in your best interest to get a pay, to get a partnership set up as soon as possible. So that's another reason to be on it with the emails as well, not only to impress them, but to get a partnership set up so you can actually get started with wholesale. Um, so with a call, you might even find by the end of the call, uh, they're like, yeah, we'd love to do business with you, uh, just do X, Y, and Z, and then we can do that. Or yes, uh, we'd actually be interested in that prospect. Um, let's arrange another call for this time. We'll talk more about it and you know get the next steps uh, in place to set up a partnership. So through a phone, a lot can be accomplished. Do phone calls. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't feel nervous. Just go ahead and do it. You might feel a bit Ugh, inside, but go ahead and do it. It will build up your confidence massively. And each time you do it, you'll get better and better and better and better until calling up a wholesale supply will be absolutely no problem for you. I know that in today's day and age, everything's done via message, email, da 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 da. Uh, more things are turning that way. But with wholesale suppliers, uh, most of the time, old school rules will apply. So give them a ring, tell them that you want to basically work with them, but don't just go, hey, I wanna, I wanna set up a, a trade account with you. You need to present it in a certain way and that's what I'm going to show you now, right? So this is a text template that I put together, um, taking into account um, various things that I've learned myself, uh, things that I've seen on other videos, on other forums, uh, having spoke to uh, other sellers to find out about what the best way is to actually approach a wholesale supplier because there is a certain way to do it and through using all of that I've come up with uh, this text template right here this is done in a way whereby it would work for an email but you can very easily translate this into a script for when you're on call. And I'd advise actually putting together something like this. I mean, it might be that you actually wanna pause this video um, and you know copy this, uh, or if you actually want a copy of this exactly, uh, if you let me know in the comments, I'll find a way to, to, to get this to you. It might be that I email it to you or we put it somewhere where we can send you a link. Um, that might be the best way actually, but yeah, uh, as I say, if you want a copy of this exact template, you know, just let me know in the comments and I'll get you, uh, I'll get you a copy of this. Um, but yeah, this is the template. So, uh, if it's via email to whom it may concern, but if you have a call, obviously it'll be, um, it'll just be like, good afternoon. No, 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 no. Like be quite formal. Um, we would like to present our company 
and then obviously your company name. So we like to present, uh, I don't know, my name is Matt, so it might be Matt Co to you. We are a professional e-commerce company dating back to, um, so the date that you started trading. Uh, we have successfully achieved over 100,000 in revenue across the Amazon market. If you feel they are funny about Amazon sellers, so if you have an inkling, and most of the time you have to be quite subtle about being an Amazon seller. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video about finding uh, wholesale suppliers, most of them are basically funny about if they deal with Amazon sellers, right? Um, so if you feel that way, I mean, as I say, it's probably best, it's best practice to keep that as subtle as possible. Uh, you might just refer to sales across your own website if you have one. So definitely set up a website. When you set up an LTD, set up a company, um, you'll probably want to set up a website as well. Um, or maybe have a dummy one in place or something like that until you get a proper one. Uh, in the United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, any marketplaces that you sell in, our products widely range from those within, uh, say, from health and beauty all the way through to toys and games or whatever, you know, the the, the bigger categories are that you sell. Um, your company is a good fit for us due to how well known it is and the fantastic ranges that you offer. Uh, you have to grease their palm a little bit, um, but not too much. And we can certainly benefit from each other in a trade partnership. Uh, we believe that your products have amazing potential in the markets that we target. We would like to extend our interest in investing in your company by buying your products and to start a new business relationship. Here are some examples of a few of the items that are of interest to us, which we found on your website. So if you just let them know the names and maybe add in some links for a couple of the products that you're actually interested in, because in theory, you'll only want to buy from them and start a partnership if there's actually something that they have that you want. So you'll need to do this anyway. In fact, you should want to do this because it you need to, you know, it's, it should be a wholesale supply that they actually want to get something from, not just for the sake of having a partnership. So, you know, just a couple of examples, you know, two, three, two or three to five at the most in order to show that you're serious and you've actually looked into the site, looked at products, you've got an idea of what, you know, what exactly it is that they want. Uh, sorry, what exactly is that you want? By allowing our company to sell your products, we'll be able to further distribute, reach new grounds and promote your brand on the market, especially if you can make shipments and or sell at wholesale, so at wholesale prices. If you're interested in this opportunity and accepting new partners or have any specific questions for us, please get in touch. Thank you very much. We hope to receive a response from you soon. If you'd like to call to discuss further, our contact number is da 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 da. Um, but obviously, if you're calling them up, you don't have to say that bit there. Um, you know, if you translate this into a script that sounds right when you're on call, because you're not going to say this at the start, you're not going to say best regards, um, you know, and when it comes to this part right here, of course, if you are getting started with selling on Amazon and you've not, you know, done this yet, uh, you might want to reword it slightly. So just say, uh, we are a professional e-commerce company, um, you know, specializing in selling uh, within these ranges in these marketplaces. You know, just give the scope rather than, you know, what you actually achieved so far. Because if you've just gotten started with wholesale uh, and, you know, you've also gotten started with Amazon at the same time, then you won't be able to say anything like this just yet. Um, but yeah, something like this. And that's how you should talk on the phone. Uh, when you talk on the phone, there's certain aspects that the suppliers might not like. It might be that you have them turn you away. And to be honest, don't be disheartened if they do turn you away. That is what every single seller who goes down the wholesale route will find that wholesale suppliers do turn them down. And even if you call 10 and eight turn them eight, eight turn you down in a row, you know, out of that 10, there'll be at least be one or two that are interested in, uh, you know, in potentially working with you. So don't be disheartened, you will be turned down, but that's just the way that it goes. You will get suppliers that do wanna work with you and you'll learn, with each call you'll learn what's some of the better things to say, what's some of the not so great things to say and you can you know tweak that as to what works. So you might have a call and they might not like, uh, you know, they might not like, uh, they might not be particularly keen on the, on the categories that you sell in. So okay, um, maybe try changing the categories that you mention or, uh, maybe take that section out or, you know, different, you know, it'll work differently for everyone and you will only be able to know that through trying it yourself and refining your script, uh, what exactly you say. Um, there'll be things that they might ask, they, there's things that they might ask for and you think, okay, they've asked me this, so I'll include this in my script for uh, next time. So that way I just, you know, say it and they don't have to actually ask me. Um, and then that to them will come across as more professional. You've got it all together, da, 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 everything that they'd want to know. Um, but yeah, keep trying. 
Also, you might find that you get turned on a little bit more when you're non-VAT registered because there's some wholesale suppliers, I'm not saying all, but there are some wholesale suppliers that are funny about if you actually have like a VAT number and things like that. So um, yeah, if you are non-VAT registered and you call them and they say no, keep a note of them. And it, when you at the point when you do go VAT registered and when you do go VAT registered, actually when you're close to that and you're knowing, you know that you're past that threshold, uh, then you want to make sure that you are making enough to push you far past that threshold rather than just bubbling around it. Because to be VAT registered and such, obviously there's going to be uh, it's going to it's going to be different for you. There's of course costs that you can claim back, but then of course you have to add VAT onto your sale prices and things like that to account for it. So it's a different game slightly when you are VAT registered. But of course you'll have a VAT number and things like that, and so when they turn you down when you're non-VAT registered and of course make make sure that you smash through that threshold to make it worth it for you call them back up and say hey da 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 present yourself as if it's all new again and you know if they say oh are you VAT registered da 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 yes I am um, and if they obviously ask for any any specific details then of course provide that to them um, get that trade partnership started you know they want consistency don't expect a discount on your very first go because most places don't actually do that they might do that um, but as I say most places won't don't expect it don't go well do I have a discount then um, no don't do that don't be pushy like that with consistency and time if you keep reordering from them it might be that they turn around and say, hey, you know, you've been a loyal customer for, I don't know, six months, a year now. Um, you know, have this, have this, you know, members discount or something like that. It comes with consistency. So you need to have some patience as well. But yeah, hopefully that gives you a good idea of how exactly to contact a supplier. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you soon. 